Welcome back to Castle Bridge. This is the first video in um, a couple probably of platform. I'm making a platform from scratch uh, using cardboard and uh, we're going to show you how I did the template, get the size right because this is starting on the track is already fixed and now we've got to fit a platform within the track. So this is video one, I hope you enjoy it. So I've taken photocopy paper, just out of the photocopier, stuck it together. So this is my platform length. I've got it tucked up tight against this uh, row of sleepers. So that's my sort of datum line, if you like. And now <clears throat> I'm going to trace the outprint of the track like this. And this is where I'm going to cut with scissors this line and uh, then we'll go to the next stage. So I've cut the paper so it's very roughly up against the, uh, the rail and now we take the longest carriage you've got in the centre Bring it along so you're now marking the uh, floor, or sorry, marking the paper, and you're coming around here, okay, and that, as you find that your curve, because this curve here is going that way, as soon as you feel your curve is going out, then you have to do it at the front of the carriage. So, We'll just join it there. And now that goes around to the front of the carriage. And what that's going to do, that's going to give us enough space for this to clear it as it goes around. And now we'll cut this one down. <coughs> the uh, distance between this step and the edge of the platform um, as it will be if we measure that is approximately three and a half um, millimeters not sure if you can read that and that's good enough for the straight and hopefully the curve has done its own job <coughs> when we get to this side which is a straight through I've got this piece of uh, MDF, it's part of the packaging for oranges, um, you see a box of the boxes on them at Christmas, two and a half mil, very very handy. So having that there next to the sleeper and drawn a line along, it means that the gap, the gap on between that step and the edge of the platform as it will be is going to be about one millimeter quite good nice and close so that will look good when the we film it coming through be nice so what i'm going to do now is to cut the um, paper down to the correct size put it on to stick it onto cardboard put it on a little piece of polystyrene so it comes up a little bit and then put the empty carriages through it so that we make sure that uh, everything is right at that stage we can adjust if we need to i have now temporarily glued the paper cut out from between our tracks uh, onto a piece of uh, gray card and this is how i transfer the lines so i can cut the gray card um, sorry about the sun, it's just going to affect everything here, but it, uh, at least it is a nice sunny day. So you just run a thick marker halfway on the white paper and halfway on the black, on the uh, grey card. You do that all the way along. I'll just go to the end and then do the other side. So now we do this side. And we just pull it along and what's happening is we're now having a very accurate line matching our template on the grey card that we can cut 
very very easily and extremely accurately. Now unfortunately the grey card is never long enough for my platform. So the curl the curved bit at the end of the platform has got to be um, done on another sheet. So if I just lift this up and show you then you can see how the system has worked. Okay so there we are. So there is the, the line that I cut which matches the template and that's what I should do now. So the board is now cut to the right size for the template. I must admit I did have to do a few little correction pieces just here. Um, I'll explain that in a second. I've got my two pieces of small ply uh, MDF put together and basically this is to to put between the sleeper and the side of the platform and that is four and a half mil and that's right so then now we can see what it does on this side this will just show you the clearance on both sides so this is what it's like on the um, domestic suburban line quite good and then we go over to the fast line trying to keep out of the shadow of the light not easy so quite a nice quite a nice bit of clearance there This is just to show the clearance on the straight side or the fast line, whatever you want to call it. So it's nice and tight. For a while now I've been wondering how the passengers are going to get on the platform to board a train. Well obviously they come in by bus maybe. So the bus goes into there, the bus reverses down there. Great. So the passengers get off and they walk around to the platform and they walk up the steps and now they're on the platform they can board a train and they haven't bought a ticket. So how do they buy a ticket? So I've come up with this little plan. This is my idea for that end of the platform. So we'll have they come up the stairs, okay, they go into the ticket office, through the ticket office and into the rest of the rest of the station. When they've actually arrived on a train, they come off the train and this open gate allows the ticket inspector to stand there and collect the tickets as they get off the train. And then they will go down the stairs, onto the pavement and go around to catch a bus or a taxi wherever they're going. The same will happen on this side. There's a small gate there. So anybody coming off of the suburban line, they will come in through there, etc, etc. Now the, my other problem I had was selecting a really nice station building that's going to fit what I've got. Because I'm only four inches wide, 100 millimeter wide. So this is a lovely one from uh, Scale Scenes. They do some lovely stuff. Um, and as you can see, the, the width of it that I need uh, down at the platform end, 40, uh, 41 millimeters. The actual total width is 93 millimeters. That's from edge to edge, which is good for me. And the length, nice, nice length. It's uh, over a foot long, which is quite nice. Um, they've also got a, a lure at one end, you can use it or you don't have to use it. Um, as far as the colours or the, um, the surface of the station, um, brick, stone, cobble, uh, lots of variations, uh, really good opportunities. Um, so that is what I'm going to be doing uh, that will fit onto this platform.
in the next video we carry on with the uh, construction we're going to be fitting the uh, paving stones uh, which is plastic card uh, sheet uh, we're going to stick that on top of the grey card uh, we are then going to decide where the uh, electrics for the lamps are going to go and we will then when that's all fixed we'll then flip it over and put all the construction for the height it needs to be now because of my railway uh, I have a foam underneath all of my track so the height of my platform from the bottom where it, where it touches the, the baseboard but there's no foam there it's just foam on the on the track from there to the surface is 22 millimeters and um, this is the plastic card I used on on there and um, I've scratched in cracks and stuff like that so it's a uh, you know card it up etc etc so that's uh, what I'm going to do on this platform here and that'll be the next video